Hi there, this is Carrie from Stamp with CT. Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday and happy Facebook Live today. I'm going to adjust the camera just a tiny bit. <clears throat> and I'll wait just a minute to see if some friends can hop in and join us live. But if you are catching the replay, hello, replay crew. We love you. And if you're seeing this part of the video, you're probably on the replay crew. It takes a minute for Facebook to send out some notifications. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like. Sorry, just trying to get things adjusted. We moved my um, phone stand and um, should have done this ahead of time to try to readjust. <clears throat> but we're glad you're here today. Oliver and I are in the craft room. And it's going to be a little bit different Facebook Live today because we are not going to be doing any crafting. I wanted to show you everything that I brought back from on stage. Odell and I went with um, three of our team members and several um, and thousands of other <laughs> Stampin' Up! demonstrators to Houston on stage this past weekend. We had a wonderful time and it was nonstop, y'all. It was so awesome. Such a good convention. And we learned a lot and we saw so many friends and just had a really, really good time. So just wanted to share with you a little kind of um, how the convention works. Walk you through it. I'm going to try to be um, concise and stay on track, but I know I'll probably probably lose focus a little bit some, but I'm so excited about new product to share with you. Tons of swaps. I have gifts. And then, of course, the swag that Stampin' Up! gives us. And we have a new catalog in our hands. So those of us that were fortunate enough to be able to go to on stage, either in Europe, the South Pacific, or North America, we're able to get the catalog in our hands and actually even pre-order through our product purchase premiere some new product. So we're super excited about that. Okay, as I'm waiting for folks to jump in, we're just going to go ahead and get started so that this video is not all day long. I think I could chat about on stage all day long though. I just thought it would be fun to kind of start at the beginning of the event and let you know how it works. When you first get there, we arrived on Thursday. And we went ahead, we had rented um, a townhome, and Cassandra, LaDonna, Joanne, Dale, and I stayed there, which was only um, maybe a mile from the convention center, which was really nice. So um, we were able to have uh, dinner together and be able to chit-chat, you know, not in a restaurant where there was a lot of music and other things going on, which that was really nice, and that was important to me. And we also were able to host some friends on Saturday night, so that was important to me as well. But we were just a little bit away from the convention center. We checked into the house, went over to the convention center to register. And when you register, um, you just give them your name. And if you are being recognized at all during the event, then you get a letter. So this is the letter that I got. This time it told you when you would be um, acknowledged for your recognition and what you were being recognized for, which I really liked that. So you had some idea what time. And then you also get your name badge and your lanyard at that time. Uh, poor Dale, he lost his, he lost his, so he had to go get a replacement. But um, you get this, and so it's nice because you're also able then to um, see other people's names and what they are being recognized for because you're able to go over to a station and get your ribbons. So like I had level one sales, um, level. Uh, what was it? Yeah, level one leadership and level two team building. And then it just has your title, your current title. Now, we did in our bag get this really pretty on stage pin. LaDonna saw people were putting that through their name badge, so she did that for me. And then another thing that's important about the name badge is that you are actually able to see your prize patrol number. So I was number one, Dale was number six. So throughout the event, Stampin' Up! is calling out numbers, and we win prizes that way, which is super, super awesome. Everybody loves Prize Patrol. 
and it is just such an energized event, y'all. It's so much fun to be in all of that excitement and everything. We usually do get some enamel pins in our um, swag bag, and this time we got these. They're, um, they were apparently some that you could collect and put together almost like a puzzle, and none of us did that. I almost always keep the pins and put them on my apron, which I don't wear very often, but my Stampin' Up! apron. But these are the little enamel pins that we got this time. The purpose of it really is to swap, but um, I never do that, y'all. And I don't know that any of our group did that this time. Now, also in the bag, we had this little um, like journal. It's really awesome. I, I'm a sucker for a journal. I wonder if anybody else is. And then these pins, which I thought were super, super, super cute. And at first we thought, oh, wouldn't that be cool if these are the end colors? They're not, but these are just really cute little pins. And so that's in your bag. So you're able to take notes if you want to. And then we also had a, this toolbox, which is really, really cute. And it holds all kinds of things. So that was one of the other items in a giant backpack. It was really nice, but it was heavy. So I can't really show you the backpack. It's just way, way too big. But that was one of the other things. Um, everything's inside your event bag. So sometimes it's like a... a Cross body bag, sometimes it's a backpack, it just depends, and it coordinated with colors of the event, so it's really nice. But like I said, it's a big backpack and it's pretty heavy. And then in my bag, because I am a leader, I had this little pencil case, and of course it has the Stampin' Up! logo, super, super cute, so love that. And then there was also for leaders a lounge that we could go to and we could get a snack and a beverage. So Dale and I did that um, a couple of different times. And when you first went in, you got this um, cup and again, the Stampin' Up! logo on it. So this was exclusive for leaders, but that was a really nice little perk that we had. Okay, I just dropped it on the floor, y'all. Oliver will take care of it for me. So I really think probably the next thing, it was not until Friday morning and they really teased us with the new catalog. And so we did get to see it. We got a copy of it, all of our own. It is something different. I'll tell you that right now. Stampin' Up! has really revamped the layout of the catalog and I am very excited about it just need some time to really, really spend with this catalog. I've heard some other demonstrators say this is like a teaching or instructional catalog. Right now, I cannot show you the inside, and I have not been able to order catalogs yet. That will happen in April, but let me know now. If you want your own personal copy of this catalog, I will be more than happy to provide it to you if you don't have a demonstrator that you shop with. If you have spent... Um, any dollar amount with me in purchases in the past six months. You're already included on my list, so don't worry about that. But if you would like a catalog, I'd be happy to send you one. Just send me the information um, as far as your address, and I'll be glad to add you to my list. So I can't show you the inside just yet. I'll show you the front and back cover. It's a little different, isn't it? A little bit different, but I really like it. It is broken down into experiences. So we now have choreographed experiences, so like our kits and things that are all ready for you and you just pick it up and you're able to make your projects quickly um, because all the work has been done for you and you just get all the fun. And then we have casual. So that's where you just really want to do quick and easy projects and then Avid, which a lot of us are Avid crafters, but Avid is where you just have all of the things. So it's broken down in experiences. Um, it's, it's different, but I'm getting used to it. And by the time I'm able to share the inside with you when we do our launch party and we do our catalog stroll, I'll be able to talk to you much more about how to really utilize this catalog in your crafting, because it's a tool for us not just a catalog to order, but also an inspiration book and a tool to help us with our crafting. So it's beautiful, y'all. I'm so excited. Now, in order to make room for those new products, 
the last chance list is already out and on the 9th of April is when any discounts will take effect. So I will be posting this last chance list um, that you can go to and you can see what's going to be retiring from not only the annual catalog, but the mini catalog as well, our January to April mini catalog. So there's a lot going on, you guys, but we have to make some room for new product. And this is how we do it. We have a retirement list because this new catalog takes effect the 1st of May, new annual catalog. The other thing is I should have grabbed my other catalog this is a substantially smaller catalog as far as pages. I think by about 30 pages. That's exciting to me because I think it can be very overwhelming even for us seasoned crafters. One of my favorite things is they put all of the sweet collections together. So back to back in the book, which I think that's an awesome um, deal. And the other thing is they have sweets in varying price ranges. So like if you have stamps and dies or punches and at least one of the sweets, you have a choice between a punch or dies to coordinate with your stamps. And you can still bundle it and save 10%. So that's really cool. Now, speaking of new product, we have some in the house. Yay. I'll show you this stamp set first. And this leaf stamp set was used on some projects that we got to see. There were so many stamping presentations and they were amazing. All of the presenters did such a good job. One of my favorite things about being at On Stage is being able to see different ways that people use products. Window sheets were really a hot item um, at this convention. I saw window sheets used in different ways that I've than I've ever used them. And so we have those things already in our collection. I love learning new tips and techniques that I can then pass on to you. And we can utilize those products that we have already invested in. So if you have window sheets in your collection, pull them out because we're going to be using them in the coming months. So this is a very pretty stamp set, love it. And then we also, everybody received a kit. And it is called Hello Honeycomb, I believe. Let me look right quick to get this out of here. Oh, hooray for Honeycomb. And I haven't opened all of this up yet, but it's just a sampling of our kits collection. And everything, it's, it's one that you don't do any stamping. Everything's ready for you and you're able to put it together. So we were actually supposed to use this as a make and take on Saturday but we were running behind. I'm telling you, it is an action-packed event. It's jam-packed with fun and excitement and so much going on. You just can't, you can't do everything. So you do everything you can and try to stay focused and enjoy the moment. That's what I did. Anyway, so that was a kit that we got. And keep in mind, Dale went with me. So I have, um, a couple times I have two of this kit. I think I have two of this stamp set. Pretty sure I do. So there may be some prizes, you know, at our launch party that you may recognize since you're watching this video. Now, Dale won a pack of paper. And let me check the name of it because, of course, I've got to learn all of this. And it's called Full of Life. And, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Haven't shown you the new end colors yet, but I will. Because, you know, five in colors retire and then we get five new colors look how bright and beautiful this paper is it is full of life isn't it so pretty and just it makes you want to smile <laughs> i'm smiling now it's so pretty so hopefully i got one of each design pulled out for you so you can see but I can already think of some awesome things we can do with this paper. Let's flip it over and take a look at the other side. Cute, some geometric patterns and stuff coming up here. So there was actually something called the Product Playground. They did things differently this time. As far as we had like a three hour break for lunch, but you did your make and takes at that time, which I loved because I did not feel rushed. And then you could go over to the product playground and they had giveaways and they had different things that you could create. 
and that was really awesome. You could see new product, new color combinations. I've still got lots of stuff to show you from the product playground too. You're gonna have to wait a minute, Oliver. So isn't this just such cute paper? I cannot wait to create with this with you guys. So excited about that. And then I want a pack of paper called Unbounded, I think it's Unbound, Unbounded Beauty. And we are going to be doing Sneak Peek Bingo on April the 6th. This Saturday, March 23rd, is the last day to register for bingo. It is on Zoom. We have a blast. And so if you would like to play bingo with us and you would like a sneak peek of the new products, then you need to sign up. Let me know if you need the information. But look at this pretty paper and this does have the five new in colors. And I'm still, of course, learning names on them, but they're bright and beautiful, and I'm very excited about them. So, flip this paper over so you can see the other side, so I can get my fingers to work. So pretty. Look at those beautiful colors. It's so fun to go to convention and to see the new products and just get ideas. We have such a blast, y'all. Okay, let me move this out of the way so I can get other things. Now, over on the product playground, well, this is the, the grid paper. Dale just grabbed me a sheet of the grid paper that didn't get too messed up. We had, when we ate lunch, but they had the grid paper down so we could do our crafting and everything there. So I think he wanted me to have a piece that said on stage, which was pretty cool. And then we were able to select a gift from Paper Pumpkin, which is our monthly um, kit that comes to your door, all ready to craft with. Everything's included other than a pair of scissors in the box. So Paper Pumpkin grid paper was what I chose as my gift. So I love using grid paper to protect my work surface in classes and all too. And then this is really cool. It kind of looks like the designer series paper, but this is 30 post ideas for me as far as it was for Instagram, but you know, it works with Facebook too. I like having fresh ideas that I can share with y'all about our products. And let me see here, before I get the um, new in colors, this color wheel was one of the things that we could make as well in the product playground. And Dale actually made one. Dale and Cassandra ran over there first, and then I met them over there. And then, of course, I saw friends, and I was chit-chatting, and Dale was doing all the things that we were supposed to be doing. But chit-chatting is also important, catching up with my friends. So this color wheel is really cool. Again, kind of a teaching or instructional catalog. You'll see this color wheel, uh, definitely the outer portion of it in the catalog, and we're gonna learn how to use color combinations, I think, in a little bit different way. Um, so that's exciting to me. So I've got a couple of these color wheels. And then Dale made us this as well. So these are the in colors. And they are just so beautiful. So he had a little swatch of the cardstock, then he stamped, and he also used the Stampin' Blends. So as far as the colors, we have Peach Pie, which I'm loving that we have Pecan Pie, Peach Pie, what else? I can't think of the pies. And we have Cherry Cobbler too. We have the desserts covered here at Stampin' Up, don't we? So awesome. And then we have Petunia Pop, which is really pretty. I'm excited about that one. I'm actually excited about all of the colors. Now, Pretty in Pink is a color that apparently has been in the collection before. It was before my time. I've been a demonstrator now for 11 years, and I don't remember Pretty in Pink. Now, I could just not you know, my brain is not what it used to be. So it could just be that I don't remember. But um, anyway, pretty in pink, nice, beautiful pink. Haven't had time yet to really compare these colors to what we have in our collection, but I'm very excited about them and the beautiful shades that they are. We have Shy Shamrock, which is a lovely green. 
And we were even joking about Stampin' Up! has so many greens already, but this is really, really pretty. And then our last one is um, Summer Splash. So a beautiful blue. It kind of reminds me of Coastal Cabana. But again, I haven't put that right up next to Coastal Cabana to compare and contrast. So I need to do that. And, and we'll do that. I like to do that on um, video with you guys. Dale is really good at those type things as far as color comparison. So we'll do that with you guys. Okay, next, let me see here. I've got a couple of cards. So one of the things for the casual crafter, and I'll see what you guys think about this idea. Let me know in the comments. But one of the things that they're doing, and I can't remember exactly what they're called now, but it's like a mix and match type um, crafting experience. So you choose, what we did for our make and take on Friday is we chose our card base in our envelope. And then you have sentiments, sentiment strips um, and pieces that are laser cut. You just punch them out. And then also the focal images, your flowers. So these are the projects we came up with. This one was mine. And then this one was Dale's. Now, we did not have a stamping block. And so you may have seen a picture that I posted on Monday with Dale using his brand new iPhone as our block. So we had such a blast at our table. And that does remind me that we met a new friend named Lee. And we kind of sucked her into our group, y'all. Whether she wanted to be or not, <laughs> bless her heart. But we were so excited to meet someone new, Joanne and Dale. I think we're the first to really have contact with her. And she was there from Minnesota by herself. And so we wanted to pull her into our circle and just include her. And we're so glad we did because she is an amazing lady. And we had a lot of fun with her. So we created these projects as our make and take. And like I said, these are items that are available in the new catalog. And just kind of let me know what you think about having card bases and envelopes available, then choosing your sentiment piece, choosing your focal image. Is that something that you would want to try? We did find it was a little bit difficult at first. We got into it. We really got into the groove and we had a lot of fun, but it's, it's a little bit hard sometimes when you have a lot of choices. So let me know what you guys think about that because you know we could try that too. All right, and I think I'm down to gifts and swaps now. So I think I'm going to do swaps first. And y'all, I have got a huge bin of swaps. So let me do gifts first because you may decide that you would um, like to come back and see the rest of this later. I don't know. You might. So first of all, Cassandra is the swap queen, and she made us a little goodie bag with lots of different lavender product inside. I mean, lots of different lavender product inside. There's still more in the bag because her swap was this awesome little basket. Is that not the cutest? Made with the lavender paper, perennial lavender paper. She used the deckled circles. To cut this out, she and Dale cut a little notch and glued it back together and made this little basket shape all over down. And then she had a beautiful lavender soap in the center of it. So she made 200 of these, you guys. And again, on um, Monday, I posted pictures where we were at our VRBO and we were helping her get these packaged up on her little basket to take over to the convention center. So much fun. But she always goes over the top and she has a blast swapping. And I'm just so proud of her for getting out there and meeting new people. And she is not a snob, snob when it comes to swapping. She swaps with everyone. Some people, if they made a 3D item, they want a 3D item back. Cassandra swaps with everyone. And I also saw her gifting some swaps to people that didn't have a swap or just needed a little bit of a pick-me-up. So thanks, Cassandra. These are beautiful. She also had Joanne make us these awesome cups with our name on them that had the lavender theme. So really, really pretty. So that gift was from Cassandra. Uh-oh. And then I have 
Let me find the card. I have a really cute little blanket. And we showed it last night. And so it's kind of messed up right now. But my awesome friend Karen from Florida made each of us a little blanket. Because, you know, a lot of times convention centers are cold. It wasn't this time, but a lot of times they are. So she thought ahead and made us each a little blanket in our favorite color. It was absolutely awesome. And we met up with Karen, Trish, and Teresa right after we registered on Thursday. They're friends from Florida, Tennessee, and Maine that we play bingo with. And that was truly the best part of On Stage for me. We had a blast, you guys. They came over and had dinner with us on Saturday night. And they had a really early flight to catch on um, Sunday, and they still stayed till, I don't know, 10.30 or 11. We didn't want them to go. We didn't want them to go. It was so much fun, and we laughed our socks off. We had such a good time. So part of stamping is the ink and paper and the embellishments. You know it's stamps, ink, and paper, and that's what paper crafting is about. But the relationships and the friendships that you build they just mean so much, and we were so tickled to be able to, after at least a year of playing bingo together on Zoom, to meet and hug and laugh and just have a great time, share a meal together. So it makes me a little bit, eh, makes me a little bit teary-eyed because really that's what this hobby is all about, is bringing us together and bringing more people into our circle, right? We just want friends that have... Um, you know, the same love of crafting that we do. There are people. So anyway, we had such a good time with them. Karen gave us each one of her swaps, which is an oversized card that is absolutely stunning. Isn't it beautiful? So she had that packaged up for each of us and then also a little scissor charm that has our initial. So super, super cute. That was a really nice gift from her. And then I have one other demonstrator friend named Patsy, and I posted about her yesterday. And we have met also on Facebook. And we've um, messaged, we've talked, we like each other's business pages and interact there. Down, please. But to be able to meet her was so much fun. And she is an energetic little thing. I had the best time um, and the best hug from her. So she brought me this cute little necklace and it stands for, of course, Carrie, but she said also compassion and caring. And um, I told her about on stage. She didn't realize all demonstrators could go. So she was telling everybody that I was the reason she was there. She took the initiative to go sign up after I gave her the information. So, um, you know, of course, she, it's all about her. She's the one that got herself there, but that's so kind of her to tell me that. I was just excited she was there and I got to meet her. And that girl was all over the place. We would text and I would say, where are you? And she would tell me and I'd have no idea where she was. Didn't even know that that thing existed. All right, let's start with some swaps here, guys. And I didn't take everything out of the clear envelope just because, oh, I think this one's the same. Yes, so Dale and I both swapped. He took some of his 3D glue holders. I took about 20 cards, but you're going to find we have way more than 30 swaps. And that's because I got several gifts because I went around with Cassandra and helped her with her lavender. So as she passed out, and this one's from Patsy. That's why I put that post-it note there. This one is from Patsy, my sweet friend. But I went around with Cassandra and helped her pass out her lotion that was in the little sample and so several people offered me a swap and I would tell them, you know, I'm just the helper, but they still wanted to give me that gift. So it it's just so much fun to be there and be with our people, I'm telling y'all. Of course, that's a demonstrator only event. So if you would like to join us in Raleigh, North Carolina next year at this time, then you need to join our team. Be a super inspired stamper and you would be able to go with us to Raleigh. And we're already planning y'all. Okay, let me grab some more. So some people make just a card front and that's what they like to swap. 
I like to make the full card, but I got a couple of just um, card fronts. So it's just kind of what, what people are comfortable doing. And again, we are not swapping snobs and we swap with everyone. I know some people like to just do 3D, but we just swap with everybody. It's so much fun. Look at that, all those laser cut butterflies she used on that card. She was generous there, wasn't she? So I have so many ideas. Of course, some of these are fun folds. Some of these are products I don't have. I just went through and tried to get them organized so that I could show you the cards today. But I haven't really had a chance to pull a lot of them out and take a good, good look at them. But I will. Because I can tell. Some of these are fun folds. Oh, this is darling. This is really, really cute. And I was going to try to tell you who made everything. But y'all, we would be here for hours. So I'm just going to share all these beautiful swaps. And by chance, if you're watching and you made one of these cards, give yourself a shout out. That's really pretty too. I love that one. Okay, so that's all the cards. I've got one more here to show you. But this is a fun fold. And this one we took out of the envelope and I wanted to, oh no, somewhere I have her card. It fell out. But I thought this was a really cute fun fold. And we took it out of the envelope for Joanne to take a look at. Isn't that cute? Such a great idea. But that's a cute one. And I can't remember her name now. I'll find it. And this has the new latte suite that's in the online exclusive. So we thought that was really, really cute. Let me move these cards over and hopefully not drop them on the floor. And now I have some 3D items. So this, of course again, Dale and I both swapped, so we both ended up swapping. Out of thousands of people, we ended up swapping with the same person. Those are super cute, little goldfish holders. And then this, we've already accosted this and taken the treat out. But this was cute too, the little ladybug. And it's that sour cream holder. We've made these before, and it's worse for the wear coming back in the luggage. But that was super, super cute, too. And again, we have um, scavenged the treat out of a lot of these. That doesn't surprise you, right? And sorry to be loud, but this is a necklace that someone made. And again, this was a gift. Um, the lady was sitting in front of LaDonna. And I wasn't even there when they swapped this, and um, she gifted these to all of us. It was so sweet. And then this little purse. I'm wanting to say that this little purse, it's really, really cute. I'm pretty sure that it had a chapstick in it, and I had to get that out of there because I forgot to take my Carmex, and my lips were so chapped. Oh, and this one. Oh, my goodness, this one's cute. Sorry for the crinkling. Well, let me see if I can, can find the end to get it out of here. There it is. This is a darling idea. So she made this into a flower pot, a flower in a flower pot, and it's a sucker. Is that not darling? I've never seen one of those before. So I thought that was just such a cute idea. And let me see here. I can see, I think her name's Carol. Crafted by, uh, it's too small. I think it's Carol, but really, really, really cute. I love that one. And then this is another little 3D item that I got. Again, really cute little holder. Somewhere, these seeds went with something, and I've lost what they went with. When we came into the convention center, I think it was Saturday, there was a lady who was giving these little angels away, and I thought these were so cute. I have no idea how she did that, but Dale and I both got one. She gave each of us one, and by that point, I didn't have any swaps left, but she just wanted um, to pass them out. I think she had forgotten her swaps earlier in the event, so we talked to her for just a minute. Just so, so sweet. 
for her to give those to us. And then this one is adorable with the bee. It's just a great idea. You could put a straw through there, pen or pencil. Just a great idea. Probably even, well, we don't have the paper piercers anymore, but I thought that was really cute. Great um, idea for kiddos, like for school. And, of course, we've got two. Again, Dale and I swapped with the same person. I'm not sure what this one is, but it's got a lip balm, it looks like. And then um, this is from our friend Trish. Let me see if I can get it open. And this is super cute, too. A little matchbook. It goes like this. A little matchbook. And then it's got the treat on the inside and the little phrase. Is that not the cutest? So that was really nice. Thank you, Trish. We got so many gifts, y'all. It's just so much fun. That's Dale's from Trish. And I think we're getting down. There's the other angel that we got. So... I think we're getting down to the end. I think so. I'm just double checking. Oh, here's another little matchbook style. And it has... Um... Sorry about that. I forgot to turn my phone off. So, I think this is it. I think this is it. I do want to show you, if I can still find it, something that I made for my friends as their gift. And we'll do that right quick. One second. If I can find it, I buried it, I think. Oh, here it is. So I wanted to make a little photo album type thing um, to put in a goodie bag for my team members and also some of the friends that we were meeting there, Trish, Teresa, and Karen, and also... Um, Patsy. So I had a little book like this and I patterned mine after the one that I had. And it is an on stage little photo album. So we went with the theme um, on our all of our paperwork and everything. And you saw pictures where we took in front of the on stage board. So it's got the on stage logo. And then when you pull that belly band off, we've got the statement of the heart here. And then I used the rock and roll paper just to decorate this up. And I told them several years ago, and I have some stamp sets too that I used. Several years ago, I purchased some Stampin' Up! stickers. And what's funny is that they worked perfectly with this little book. And it was something with the Stampin' Up! They're still sticky, even though they're several years old, they were still sticky and worked super well. And I was able to decorate up this little book. We're going to be able to put lots of pictures, lots of memories in that little book. It's just going to be the hardest thing, Joanne said, is figuring out which pictures to put in there. Because we've got so many. So, that was a little gift that I created. Wanted to share that with you, too. Now, speaking of gifts, let me show you a couple of happy mails that I received. First of all is this adorable card from Lisa. It is precious, and this is using, oh, now I can't remember the name of it. Let's Chat, I believe, is the stamp set. It's got ring, ring. So super cute. Lisa always does such a great job, so that was fun to find that in the mailbox. Thank you, Lisa. And then a beautiful card from my amazing friend, Mary. And you know, I think we need to call her dot, dot, not a lot, Mary, because we did have a couple people mention that at convention, that they know dot, dot, not a lot. And Karen even texted me while one of the presenters was up there because they were using way too much glue. And Karen said, dot, dot, not a lot. So it was funny. So thank you, Mary, for this stunning card. It is so pretty. But this, she stamped down the side here. Is that not the coolest? So, again, a beautiful card from Mary. She rounded the corner, something I don't do very often, so that was a good reminder, too. Really cute. Thank you, Mary. You're always so sweet. All right, let's go ahead and do our giveaway. So, two weeks ago, because we didn't have a live last week, I was cooking and packing and all of that. So, two weeks ago, I had the sponge daubers that we'll be giving away, and the winner is Lisa. Lisa Tweedle. So, congratulations, Lisa. And Lisa was entered for a chance to win the giveaway. 
by leaving a comment on the video two weeks ago. You can send up a heart, you can share the video, you can leave a comment. Um, anything you want to do to interact with us so that Facebook and YouTube know other people need to see what we got at on stage, right? They need to see this video. So, if you do that, you're entered for a chance to win through random drawing, and I will announce the winner of this pack of pins from OnStage next week. So, if you would like to get these cute little pins in your hands, be sure to leave a comment. Let me know if there's a certain swag item that you just love. Let me know if there was a certain swap that caught your eye, or if you're super excited about the new catalog and you need one. Just leave a comment. All right, I think that's it for today. Um, that didn't go as long as I thought it would, about 40 minutes, but so glad you were here with us. We appreciate you. I'm super excited and rejuvenated after going to convention, so I hope that you will be part of our classes and events going forward because we're going to have some new techniques and new products coming that we're very excited about, and we want you to be part of it. Be in our circle because we want to include you. Talk to you soon.